Amen. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. And in the sixth month, which month are we now? The sixth month. This is prophetic. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee. And I declare, this month you will receive the visitation of angel. Come on, I say you will receive the visitation of angel in the name of Jesus Christ. And we'll be sent to a city called Houston. <laughs> and if you are in Katy, put your city there. Praise the name of the Lord. If you are in Richmond, put your city there. Amen. Hallelujah. To the name, the name Nazareth. Hallelujah. Now what happened there in verse 27? Verse 27. Amen. He said, and to a virgin as well to a man whose name was Joseph. So, the, the, it was so specific. Somebody, God will specifically single you out in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Of the house of David. So, there is also a particular house. A particular street. A particular house to a particular person. Name and virgin's name was Mary. And what was the message from angel Gabriel, verse 28 now. Verse 28, amen. The angel come giving this message. And having come in, the angel said to her, rejoice. I come with an announcement this month. You will rejoice. Come on, rejoice. You will rejoice. In the name of Jesus Christ. If from the beginning of this month, there's always been something that doesn't bring joy to you, the temple is turning around. This is your season of announcement of joy, of announcement of celebration. In the name of Jesus Christ. The angel came with good sight, tidings. Rejoice, highly favored one. Come on, somebody rise on your feet. Come on, rise on your feet. Rise on your feet and say, I am highly favored. I am not just favored. I am highly favored. This is the only place in the Bible where God says highly favored. There is favor, there is high favor. This month you will experience the high favor of God. The highest form of God's favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There were so many virgins in the land those days. But God went to Mary. It wasn't because Mary was the only virgin. God singled her out because of her high, or because of high favor that he has. By the favor of God, you will be singled out. Look at what he said, highly favored one. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among, um, among women. So there are a lot of women, but God, we blessing we sit on your head. A lot of competitors for that position on your job, but God's favor we sit on your head. There are a lot of men running the same race like you, but God's favor we sit on your head. Come on, that amen need to be born again. Hallelujah. There are so many people knocking on the same door. But God's favor will sit on your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, blessed are you among all women. Among women. Among your competitors. Among others people that work for you. Among other people that you work with. Amen. Among other people who apply for the same thing. Blessed are you among all of them. And God will sing you heart for favor. This month, I don't know what you're believing God for. I don't know what you're looking forward to. I don't know your vision and your dream. But what I know is that God says your month of divine favor and I will single you out. I will single you out. Your own head will shoot out in the name of Jesus Christ. Another scripture. Amen. Another scripture. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The set time has come to favor her. Hallelujah. Can you put the, uh, the, the, um, our month of favor up? Psalm 100 and... Amen. 
It's Psalm 105, I think. Is it 103? Amen. Put among the banner up. Amen. Psalm 102, verse 13. Let's read it together. Can we put it up now? Because I put it there purposefully. Amen. Psalm 102, verse what? Verse 13. So look, can you put it up for us? Amen. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. You see, you see, wherever you see God's favor, the mercy of God has taken place. Because if it's by what you have done, God will not move. But because his faith, his mercy, his compassion does not fail. His mercy has gone ahead of time. So God will say, you know what? Whatever she has done, whatever he has done, I put a wave on it. I wave it. Why? Because he says, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time. This month, I will preach on the set time. The set time is the time that all the prayers, all the, all the struggle, all the knocking of the door, everything will work together and God will make it happen. That time, it will make a meaning to you because it's your set time. At the set time, you will knock the door, the door will be open. The door you have been knocking for here because it's your set time. It's your time. It's your season to be favored. That door will open on its own accord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Is it because the set time has come? It is the appointed time of God in heaven to make things happen for you on earth. It is the time for your prayers to be answered. The set time is the time where all your struggle will become, it will become a miracle. All of a sudden, you will forget about all your struggles for years because God's miracle will come. Hallelujah. The set time. Thank you. The set time. The set time of God is the time where you don't have to do much, but God is doing much for you. God is working for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the time has come to favor Zion. At that time, anything you ask for is given to you. The Bible said about the children of Israel. God says, I have granted favor. I, these people have obtained favor before my side. He said, whatever they ask, they will receive. They will not go empty handed. Amen. When the God's favor is in place, whatever you ask will be given. Whatever you demand for will be given. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, say, my set time has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. My set time has come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So what do you need from God? I want you to begin to talk to the Lord right now. Lord, this is my set time. I receive favor. I receive breakthrough. I receive open door. In the mighty name of Jesus. My set time has come. 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 Oh, it is my set time. It is my set time. It is my season. It is my set time. Things are shifting for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. The book of remembrance are open for me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This month God will do a mighty thing. I will be visited. Thank you mighty God. Glory, adoration to your name. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Father we just thank you one more time. Because this is your set, this is our set time. A season of favor has come. A season of breakthrough has come. A season of open door has come. In the mighty name of Jesus, we enter into it. Thank you, precious Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. I think we have heard the message. Are we? You know, maybe we, we should close now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Today, what we want to do, we want to celebrate our children. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, it's been a very, very great school year. Hallelujah. It's been what? Very, very great school year. And we're going to celebrate and thank God for what God has done in their lives. Praise the name of the Lord. And we're going to uh, celebrate those who graduated. Amen. Those who do what? Who grind? Verse 11. He said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Says the Lord. The thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. Another scripture says to give you an expected end. Because for some of you, you have an expected end. You started this year with an expected end in mind. That I'm going to do this. I want this. I want to achieve this. I want to achieve that. And but God is saying I'm giving you in the month of June. Amen. To restructure because I still have a plan for your life. Amen. And my plan is huge. My plan is big. My plan is mighty. My plan cannot be contained by anyone. And when God was speaking through Jeremiah for this, he was talking about those who are, you know, who are in exile at that time. Who have been displayed, the Jewish people. And just God raised up Jeremiah as a young prophet at that time to speak to them. That it doesn't matter where you are. My thoughts concerning you has not changed. It's of good and not of evil. I will give you an expected end. I will give you a hope and a future. That breakthrough will come. Oh, come on. That breakthrough will come. That success will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. That which you are pursuing, it's about to land in your hand because God's expectation is still well. And is still ready to do mighty things in your life. So expect more. Expect more. So in this month, I want you to begin to restructure. That because the next six months of this year is going to be greater for you. It's going to be extraordinary for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. So it's reminding you again, my thoughts towards you is of good. It's not of evil. Amen. In case from January to this day, you've been saying, oh, this has been roller coaster. I don't know what is happening. See, my thought towards you is still of good and not of evil. I will give you hope and the future. Amen. So expect more. Amen. Expect more because God will do more in the name of Jesus Christ. So God has a plan for your life. It's bigger than the ocean. It's bigger than you think. So don't go for less. Go for more. Praise the name of the Lord. The Deuteronomy 28 verse 13 said, The Lord will make you what? The head and not the tail. So he has a plan. That plan is still the plan of the, being the head. It's still the plan of being a leader. It's still the plan of you being in the forefront of your game. You shall be above only and not beneath. Hallelujah, vested, as we're still in verse 13. If you heal to the commandment of the Lord your God, which I command thee today. So always tell yourself, I am made for more. Amen. Nothing is going to stop me. I will not be discouraged. I will not be shattered. I can rearrange. I can move things around. But I am still moving. I shall not be stopped. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Circumstances of life will not stop me. No one will stop me. God has a plan for me. And that plan is bigger than what I, can, I am experiencing right now. So I am going to push for more of it. I'm going to push for more. All you need to know. Is that know that you are made for more. You have great potential. Amen. You have potential for more. There is still more residing in you. There is still God. The Bible says greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. First John chapter 4 verse 4. So expect more. 